Here's a two-minute travel guide to Cairo, Egypt, and all the things to do in Cairo. First is the Cairo Citadel. It has an amazing view over Cairo and is an 11th century fortress with museums and mosques inside. The most important mosque inside is the Mosque of Muhammad Ali Pasha. Built in the 1800s, the inside and outside are beautiful. This is one of the other mosques inside the Citadel. Coptic Cairo is the oldest part of Cairo. There's been a settlement here since the 6th century BC. This is where the Christian settlement is, and you can find six to eight different churches, including the Hanging Church and the Fortress of Babylon, which is right there in the back. Park Al-Azhar is potentially the best sunset view in Cairo and one of the best views in general. It's a local favorite, huge park full of trees, grass, and beautiful views. Next is the Khan al-Khalili Bazaar. This is the biggest bazaar in Cairo. It's the haggle heaven. You can find anything you want here, but just make sure you don't overpay for it because people will try to charge you tons, but you can find lots of gems. The pyramids of Dashur are also a must. They say these pyramids are older than the pyramids of Giza and you could enter inside the Bent Pyramid and the Red Pyramid. Memphis is an UNESCO protected world heritage site, which is actually the site of the capital of the old kingdom of ancient Egypt. You can see a lot of fascinating artifacts here, such as hieroglyphs, statues, and more. Saqqara is a must visit because they say this is the oldest pyramid. You can explore the necropolis surrounding it and the step pyramid itself. The pyramids of Giza are an obvious one. You have to do this in Cairo. It's like mandatory. Check out the last remaining world wonder and be amazed by all the mysteries that surround it. You can also rent camels and ride them around the desert, but make sure not to go on a Friday. The Egyptian Museum is also a must. This is one of the coolest museums I've ever been to. You can see artifacts from all of ancient Egypt up to the Greek and Roman times. You can see artifacts from King Tut's tomb. You can see so many different things. It's amazing. Next, you have to experience Cairo nightlife. They actually have some great clubs and some amazing shows in this city. They have some great nightclubs like Cairo Jazz Club and some big DJs and artists often come through and play shows here, sometimes near the pyramids. Next is Garbage City. You might have seen my other TikTok about this. This is where all the recycling of Cairo takes place and people sort things out by hand. They split different materials up and each one has something different done with it and it's recycled right on the spot. The cave church is right next to Garbage City. This is one of the biggest Christian areas of Cairo and they have churches that fit thousands and thousands of people. They have three or four churches in caves and fascinating stories to go along with them. Next, Mahdi is my favorite neighborhood of Cairo. This neighborhood hardly even feels like Cairo. There are parks, there are tons of trees. It's really green and leafy and it really feels like a suburb. There are tons of delicious restaurants and terraces to get food and drinks here. The Wadi Degla Protector is just outside of Mahdi, and it's the place in Cairo that really feels like you're not even close to a city. It feels like you're in the middle of the desert, although you just drove 10 minutes from Mahdi. I couldn't fit every single thing to do in Cairo into this two-minute video, so check out my blog post for the whole thing.